Good evening, everyone. I'm happy to introduce our speaker, founder of Noble Transformation Hub, self-taught computer scientist and artificial intelligence scientist and super conscious expert who worked with global Fortune 500 company, General Electric and Wipro Technologies. He has been doing transformation skills development programs and research on business case studies, 21st century skills, future skills and technology research from the last 14 years globally. He has done 400 plus business and technology trainings, programs from Harvard Medical School and Harvard University, other organizations. He spent around $75,000 on his career and courses, certifications and global project based skills. He has been doing research on computer architecture, quantum computing, artificial intelligence, blockchain and future technologies. He believes in win win decision making and achieves the goals, objectives as per the lifelong vision. Also, he's an active athlete. He's been participating in Wipro runs and other marathons for the last 10 years. I humbly welcome Dr. Noble Arya, sir, starting this event, Reinforcement Learning Use Cases, organized by AI and Robotics Club. Now I request everyone to keep yourself muted. And at the end of the session, we will have the Q&A. Thank you, sir. I hand it over to you now. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. And I, 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 I'm really honored to uh, share my experience and skills and knowledge with you guys because you are future leaders and uh, we all need to work towards uh, this mission to create uh, new innovative technologies, applications, projects and all these things. So uh, what I would request everyone to participate and if they can like open their screen and uh, we wanted an uh, interactive uh, class where I want to see everyone how like, uh, so uh, let's, it, it's not one-sided class. It is like interactive. It works uh, both ways. So every everyone is uh, welcome to participate and also like how we can make it better and better so that we can uh, give 100% to our time, whosoever is in this class. So let's make it uh, uh, interactive class. Or if someone cannot, uh, so then we can do is, uh, uh, I want everybody to like maximum, all the people should uh, like uh, open their cameras if they are not able to uh, under certain circumstances. So, but I want everybody to interact, then it will be a great, uh, so we'll get a maximum out of this class. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let's let's. Uh, I I want to know. First, I want to know everyone, like everyone whosoever is there. So I want, like, you can uh, give your name, your introduction, and what is your vision of life. What do you actually want to do? And then uh, we'll move, uh, we'll go to uh, the actual uh, concept of reinforcement learning. So use case. So uh, you, you can like, uh, anyone can start and then we can, or you can just take the names, uh, like whosoever start, whether you will go with alphabet order or something, chronology or, whatever. So I want everybody to interact. I want introduction so that uh, we can make it an uh, interactive class rather than just I am speaking.
Who wants to go first? Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. I'm Swati Priya. I'm doing my MBA from AML first year. Mm -hmm. And uh, my vision of like uh, my aim, like I joined in this MBA, like uh, I have completed my BTEC under mm -hmm. CSE as my specialization. Mm -hmm. And uh, later on, I worked in Wipro for 1.5 years. Mm -hmm. So working there gave me an experience like uh, to achieve something and get back to corporate world back. Mm -hmm. So gaining that here and I'll be back to corporate world again. Okay. That's so my that's, that's your vision. Okay. So yeah, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Someone else? Yeah. Good evening, sir. I'm Shavya. I'm doing my MBA in DIML, same like first year. Mm -hmm. So it was very, it is very nice to have an interaction session with you, sir, now. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, uh, that's good. But what is your vision? Like, my, you know, Kalpana Chawla and all mm -hmm. these people, like they, there are inspirations, Steve Jobs, Elon Musk. We all can change the world, you know. But we need to have a bigger vision, okay? And what is your vision? That's my question. For now, sir, like it's, uh, I really wanted to learn whatever I could uh -huh. and have a very good uh, career ahead. Okay, great, great. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, hi, sir. Hi. Uh, my name is Srikant. Uh, I'm also from uh, BAML. I'm in first year. Mm -hmm. So, uh, my vision is to learn like all the aspects of management in my two years of MBA. And uh, once I'm uh, mature enough, I'll start up my own business. Very nice. Yeah. So you are an on future entrepreneur, right? Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> great. Great. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, this is Megha. I am yeah, from uh, MBA AIML first year. Mm -hmm. So I have um, presently I'm doing uh, my MBA in AIML from Boxing and I've uh, completed my bachelor's in computer science engineering. Mm -hmm. So my vision in life is to give back to the society in a form uh, what I have learned till now. Great. So from the sector what I have learned. Uh, in whichever way I can contribute, I want to contribute towards the society. Great, 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 great. Thank you, thank you. Hi, sir. Uh, this is Neha Mangal. Yeah, Hi. I'm a IML uh, second year student. Uh, so I'm basically a more of a technical person and I want to become a data scientist after great, my MBA. Great, great. Uh, so my... Yeah. That's, so that's my main interest one. is to apply whatever I have learned, uh, mm -hmm. automate things that would be helpful to the society, create such products and services that will give some sense to the world. Great, that that's is. beautiful, beautiful. You are very clear. We see. First thing is in life is we need to have clarity. Our goal should be single pointed focus. It should be one goal, and we should pursue and put all the energy ferocity ferocity means uh, step to step process and we should enjoy the step to step process to achieve that goal that is why see doing any course anything uh, will not make sense until or unless we are fixed on our goal but flexible on reaching to the goal we should not be rigid when while we are reaching to the goal we should be flexible okay but fixed on goal Okay, we should be very clear. If somebody asks when when we are like uh, in the middle of the night, what do you want to do? I should know my uh, vision statement that what I am going to do. And universe will work for you guys. And people will help you. Okay.
Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, let's let's do it fast and then we'll go to the class. It will be very interesting. For, see, we want to know each other a little bit and then uh, it will be better to uh, have a beautiful class and then we can understand the concepts. If somebody has a problem, like they cannot speak uh, on live camera, they can speak on speaker, still they are okay, no issues. Uh, so there would be certain uh, circumstances, okay? So that's that's okay. But let's, let's, who is the next person? Let's give everybody chance, na? everybody, you know, sometimes diamonds are, they are hidden very deep uh, in the, so nobody knows, no, they, they don't talk and they don't have exposure. So we, we have to craft them, okay? We have to give them confidence so that they can shine. So, uh, so who is next? Hello. Hello, sir. Hello, hello. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hi, sir. Uh, first hi. of all, uh, welcome uh, to the session. Uh, I'm Pranay Kumar. I'm doing uh, my uh, MBA in AIML second mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. My final goal is to become a data analyst, sir. Very nice. Uh, very nice. Uh, I want to I want to pursue my education after this MBA. I want to do MS in data science. Very nice. Where, uh, I want to get uh, deep knowledge uh, in this data science and data analytics field. And right. my uh, final goal is to become a data data analyst. Great, That's great, it. great. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Who is next? This is all, or there are people still, they want to speak. So everybody, we have to give everybody chance. So uh, we should not have any, <laughs> uh, everybody. So is it okay? Uh, all Are all the people ready to speak or is it, I just want to know, hello? Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. I'm Vishal K. Hi, hi, Vishal. Uh, uh, right now, I'm in my first year of BIML. Mm -hmm. The vision of my life is like I uh, I want to connect this artificial intelligence with some of the industries like uh, biomedical or food industry. So Great. we can see something new in our future because the future is completely dependent on AI and all. Great, so great. This is one of my vision in my future. Yeah, it is. It is going to be 16 trillion US dollar industry, artificial intelligence in 2030. Okay. So if India, so if uh, I was doing research, you know, China is way ahead. America is number one, China and Europe. Okay. India is, is doing good, but we are not there. We, if we really want to become superpower, we need to create AI startups. Yes, sir. Okay? If we are not right now doing anything for that, and you know, data is the fuel for AI. And right now, our country has uh, like world's second uh, largest population, and we have enough data, but we are not using. We are uh, we are not starting. We don't have startups. You know. Uh, in China, they have 100 unicorn startups on AI. But in India, how many startups are there? 60. So, yeah, so th this is beautiful. And, you know, uh, right now, I just want to unlock your mind first. And then we'll go into concept. Then you guys are better than me to learn AI and data science and all. But let's let's right now open our minds. Okay. And who is next? Hi, sir. Hi. My name is Pratyusha Pujari. Uh, I'm from first year MBA BA AML. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to uh, learn. Uh, AI and data science and you know 
all the technologies uh, so that i can get a job and work for an organization and uh, get into a leadership roles that is like okay. my vision right Very now nice. mission nice. not vision mission mission okay so uh, so we we need to first thing from tomorrow you just you guys just write your mission and vision of your life like whatever it is crazy like uh, unimaginable and you know after 5 years 10 years you will see there because you will work every day towards that mission and vision and that's very important and with principles code of conduct principles mission and vision okay they are very important okay thank you who is next i have a different way of teaching okay so i i will take it differently so my role model is steve jobs elon musk and i want to go beyond that it's not that they are they are my standard role models but i want to go beyond them because i'm different and everybody is different and you can also go beyond everybody else it is just you need to believe in yourself okay i think okay shall we start oh. yes sir okay okay if you whenever you have you have all the whenever you have any questions doubts you can ask me in the q and a session okay we'll start uh, let me give you little introduction uh, about myself i i have done you know right now today i am in front of you you know there was a time when i didn't even have 1000 rupee to learn computer science the basic course but i took a challenge i said no enough is enough i have to i i have to um, achieve the goal i have a vision i i wanted to pursue that and i did so much of hard work and i i worked on it i worked with ge worked with wipro technologies and uh, i'm start i have started my own startup and uh, i'm working towards that vision how to serve humanity in artificial intelligence like um, uh, to have a company who can have around 5 trillion us dollars we can contribute from india uh, to the world through ai and quantum computing and other technologies okay uh so let's let's go to the main uh, topic which is reinforcement learning okay let me give you simple example what is reinforcement learning uh, before that let's let's understand what is algorithm algorithm is nothing you guys know how to make a cup of coffee okay you guys know that okay write down in the comment section uh no or okay everybody i want to i want everybody to participate so i want to write down in the comment section no you know it so i would be knowing that you are engaging you are understanding you are listening okay i am not getting responses <laughs> okay so whenever i am asking something kindly respond so that it would be interactive session and uh, i want to give 1000 uh, percent to you guys so that your time is valuable so that you get benefit out of whatever we share and if you have any doubt any question you can ask me in the q and a okay so when we make a cup of coffee there are steps step to step we cannot we like we need to have a pan we need to have cup we need to have coffee we need to have gas we need to have a, so we need to have all these things okay similarly algorithm is same it is no rocket science lot of people are afraid oh this is computer science is very complex this that no it is very simple it is basic 
if we because we have not understood the basic and simplicity of life we think it is complex and stuff we have to uh, use first principles uh, like if we have a big problem you need to um, make it into pieces fundamental pieces and understand it from there algorithm is same thing so you need to have step to step approach you should know when to use which step and uh, you cannot um, uh, you cannot put a coffee uh, like uh, when you are making a cup of coffee you need to put uh, water you need to put uh, coffee and then you need to add milk then you need to add sugar okay then you need to boil it and then you need to like then then there would be a cup of coffee the inputs are the ingredients and output is the cup of coffee same concept is applied uh, like when we do reinforcement and learning is what it is nothing it is just when i am making cup of coffee in return if my cup of coffee is good like if we go to ccd or any uh, cafe so what will happen that if if we make a good cup of coffee and customer likes it so he will give a tip like he will give uh, money uh, like he will give you a 10 rupee or 50 rupees extra like as a uh, uh, whosoever is they are serving them so when if your cup of coffee is not good so you will get a reward he will say i will not pay you for this cup of coffee so you will get a positive reward also you will get a ne negative reward so this is all about like the basic concept of reinforcement learning is this okay it is there AI is nothing. It is just mimicking the human behavior, human intelligence. Human is this. This is AI. And we have made algorithms, applications to mimic the intelligence and the environment around in our society in different uh, society is very complex, right? Problems are very complex. We need to understand through data and then we mimic the intelligence. Uh, through AI applications, systemizing, doing modeling, doing uh, all kind of uh, techniques, okay? And reinforcement learning is a giving return gift. Uh, like uh, if, if agent, AI agent is given a, a reward when he does a good job, so he will get, get a negative or positive reward. And based on that reward, he will he will try to learn new new ways to improve uh, the uh, steps. Okay, and uh, this is how this is this is what happens when we play with children. So we uh, when we if they do good job, we give them a, a toffee or some reward, so some gift. So they they again go and get excited. Like this is this is applied in games also. Like you can see games, uh, when we play games, we are addicted. All children are addicted to games. Why? Because there is reinforcement learning, because they get rewards uh, instantly, instant gratification. You know why I asked you guys, what is your vision? So there are two kinds of people in this world. One who believe in instant gratification and there are people who believe in long-term gratification, like who have long-term vision, like all the people who have achieved something in life, they always work for the vision, 20, 50, 30, 100 years of vision, okay? And there is an instant gratification. Human nature is such, we want rewards right now. I want something right now. I want money right now. I want th these clothes right now. I want basics is okay. But so this, this uh, intelligence is applied in, uh, in AI agent, in reinforcement learning. Okay. We'll go to the slide and we'll understand uh, what are the fields, where we can apply it, what projects we can make out of it, and where we can start doing research and how we can uh, channelize our um, this uh, career uh, with AI and uh, on uh, like we need to understand first AI broadly and then we go deep into uh, one single project a specific one to two problems okay so let me let me share my uh, 
uh, mind map and then uh, uh, we'll we'll go uh, we'll go deep into it and explain uh, the pointers okay so i have a right now right yeah are you able to see my mind map yes sir yeah, yeah right so uh, reinforcement learning is like it is what i said in simple terms agents are trained on a reward and punishment mechanism okay so when uh, so it is they are trained on these things okay you give them reward or you give them punishment okay punishment is negative like you you will like i gave the coffee example okay the agent is rewarded for correct moves and punishments for the wrong ones okay then in doing so the agent tries to uh, minimize wrong moves and maximize the right ones so this is you can take a screenshot of it if uh, or if you know about it that's great if you don't so you can take a screenshot and if you want i can give you the mind map uh, in pdf you can take it so environment there's an environment as i said we all like see you need to consider ai as environment like we have uh, in environment what we have we have ecology we have environment we have oxygen we have all these components we have hospital we have roads we have um legal department we all, all these things are there and it makes an environment okay so and when uh, reinforcement is applied it is applied for specific problems okay so when program is designed so environment is there when agent does the action for any program it could be any program you can develop a program when he does an action in the environment he gets the reward or he gets an uh, reward in terms of negative or positive interprets the state again he will start learning from this process like we do so if we do some mistake where we have huge loss we will not repeat it again okay so if we do we will again get punishment okay so just a minute okay we'll go to application in cars like application in self driving cars elon musk you you guys on where elon musk is in tesla they are using technology um which is like self driving cars where they use machine learning and they are using uh, uh, the same reinforcement learning is applied in tesla cars okay various research have proposed deep reinforcement learning okay for autonomous driving okay so what happens in machine learning in machine learning this when the data is generated and based on that they they make the the agent makes decisions okay earlier there was a driver now there is an agent ai agent like a reinforcement learning agent ai agent who is there based on the patterns and uh, the based on the data he tries to learn and that based on the learning reinforcement learning continuous learning it's going on on and it optimizes also so th they are able to drive like safely so then um, in self driving cars there are various aspects to consider when we are making a self driving uh, project or if we want to start from scratch so we need to work, we need to consider such as speed limits at various places uh drivable zones we need to avoid collision we need to see the roads like our roads like th there are problems in the roads and stuff we need to consider all the pointers okay and based on that uh, we can program accordingly and then we can uh take that project and uh, make it a uh, work some of the autonomous driving tasks where reinforcement learning could be applied is includes 
trajectory optimization, like what is the speed and how, how you can optimize it and how you can motion planning, dynamic path, pathing, like you need to, uh, like, like Google Maps they use in uh, Uber and uh, Ola, they're using it to some extent. Um, collat collateral optimization, scenario-based learning, Okay, so these are the, and there are some examples. Parking can be achieved by, sorry. Yeah, parking can be achieved by learning uh, automatic parking policies. We need to have automatic policies for parking. Okay, uh, lane changing can be achieved through queue learning while overtaking can be implemented by learning and overtaking policy while avo avoiding collision. Okay, maintaining, a steady speed thereafter. So when whatever, like when we are driving, if if we know, uh, like we, we, we would be knowing how to drive, if we know that, if we have seen, so whatever problems there are, real problems, okay, you have to consider every problem while you are planning for a project on self-driving cars using reinforcement learning, okay. So you have to consider all these points so that you can, you can uh, achieve the objective, okay? Then uh, we can use AWS Deep. It is used in, it is an autonomous racing car that has been designed to test out RL in a physical track, okay? It uses camera to visualize the runway. Like if you have seen, there are big trucks also in US, they've started doing it. So they have like human eye can see only to an extent, but the cameras with um, high uh, like uh, optical power and um, machine learning, uh, reinforcement learning, power they can they can go to any extent 360 degree they can go and uh, see what's happening and make decisions based on that and uh, so that the, um, the the accident and the anomalies are not there okay a reinforcement learning model controls a direction okay uh, you can go to wave v dot ai uh, they have they have some good research has successfully applied reinforcement learning to train a car on how to drive in a day okay in a day you can uh, like you can see they have applied this they have they have a project they use a deep reinforcement learning algorithm to tackle the lane following tasks okay their network architect was a deep network with four uh, conventional layers and three fully connected layers so you can go to wave.ai on Google and check this, um, this uh, project and see that what they have done. And uh, okay, initially you don't have to go too deep into coding and all. And AI is not about coding and all, it's a philosophy. First, you need to understand the aspects Okay, it's not, it is a philosophy. It is not only coding. It's not only stat. It is not only um, machine learning. It's not only, it's also about soft, soft skills. It's also about emotional intelligence. So it is, it is a holistic thing, okay? So we have to consider human aspects. We have to consider animal aspects. We have to consider uh, 360 life aspects while developing any application, while developing any algorithm, while developing any uh, software, anything. It's not purely a coding thing. Coding is there. A lot of people are doing coding, but they don't have vision. They don't have that humanness. Are they solving real problems? That is the main essence. Are we creating a win-win algorithms which serves humanity or saves humanity also does the purpose of solving problems, AI, uh, legal problems, corruption, uh, um, uh, business problems, social problems, social intelligence. Are we able to, like, can we develop a technology which will uh, 
give, uh, which will uh, remove biasness in our systems. That is the real essence of education. And can we develop such systems uh, which will um, which will take humanity to a next level, a complete transformation? Okay. So let's go to. Okay. Industry automation. There are like in industry, it is also applied. You can see in, in automobile, like robots are manufacturing um, cars themselves through machine learning. Okay. Okay. And industry automation with reinforcement learning. In industry, reinforcement learning based robots are used to perform various tasks. Okay. Apart from the fact that these robots are more efficient than human beings. That is truth. You know, why we human beings are like, there was a champion, a Go champion. He lost the game, Go. And the chess we have lost. We are not so efficient because we have not explored our, we've always seen life outside. We've never seen our life inside. We have not explored ourselves. We have not transformed ourselves. It's, it's transforming first our body, our, our self. Know thyself, who thyself. You know why I am pursuing AI plus super consciousness? Why I'm doing that? Because I want to understand first myself. And then I will be able to transfer that win-win and uh, that serving humanity concept through my actions and my technology or intelligence. Okay. So we need to do, we need to understand first ourselves. When we understand ourselves, what will happen? We'll understand the whole universe. Okay. So why these robots are or these machines are efficient than human beings what is the problem and the, this is the this this gap uh, there's a threat that humanity like we are thinking that after 200 years or sometime so humanity will not like will have very less population will uh, like a lot of people will lose jobs 50 percent uh, until 2030 50 percent people will lose jobs and you guys are the leaders right now in this class, whosoever is actively listening, you know, you guys are going to change whether you are, you are one person or you are 40 or 20 or 10, whatever number is there. Okay. You guys are going to be leaders from India. And I think you guys, you guys are the leaders because AI is fourth industrial revolution. 16 US dollar, 16 trillion US dollar economy. And if India wants to be superpowers, India wants to um, do anything, and this is the time. If we don't do anything right now, we'll never do anything. This is the time. This is the super time. And this is the time to put the seeds in the soil right now. And this is what we are doing right now. You need to have vision. You need to learn technology properly. You need to know yourself and then create win-win technologies. Okay. I was talking about why human beings are not efficient because we've not transformed ourselves. We don't know. Okay. We don't know ourselves. If I don't know myself, how can I know AI technology or MBA class? There's no sense. We need to understand ourselves first. And when we understand ourselves, what will happen? We can robot. It is a very easy job to control a robot. A robot cannot have an infinite consciousness, but we can learn that. And through that, we can do infinite creativity. We will have infinite life. Okay. So there are some examples. Is the use of AI agent by deep mind to cool Google data center, you know, see now AI agent has through reinforcement learning. They have, they in deep mind, 
they, they, the cost of electricity went 40% down uh, because they used AI reinforcement learning. This is the potential you can see, right? Okay. They led 40% reduction in energy, okay? This, uh, the center are now fully controlled with AI systems without need of human intervention. Why we need humans then? Because see, why we do any task? Because, uh, because uh, human beings were efficient earlier. Now human beings are not efficient. And if we are not doing right now for this thing, we are not learning super conscious and we are not learning um, all the aspects, holistic, uh, real education. What will happen that AI, all these algorithms will take our jobs. It's, it's there. That's why we need to be entrepreneurs. We need to be creators. Okay. We need to create. Why can't we create Google in India? We have to think big. We have to think bigger than Google. We have to think bigger than Apple. We have to think bigger than uh, um, uh, SpaceX. Why can't we create a private spacecraft company in India? Why can't we do that? Why can only uh, Elon Musk can like he can do that? Think about these questions. Okay. Okay, let's let's go to the other section, which is like there are obvious still super super visions that data center expert like the systems work in uh, following way. So let's go to that. Okay, taking snapshot about data from the data center every five minutes. Okay, feeding uh, this to a deep neural network, it then uh, predicts. Uh, how different combination will affect future energy consumption. Identifying action that will lead to minimal power consumption. It is an example of Google, how it is done. Uh, how deep, deep mind that the, the reinforcement learning is used in uh, Google. And then what happens after that? Like what are the algorithms, how they do it? Then there will be coding and applic that, that, that is okay, but these are the steps. Like identifying action that will lead to minimal power consumption while maintaining a set of standard safety criteria and implementing these actions at data center. The actions are verified by the local control system. Okay. And this is this, this is very deep. And and it should be deep. If we because See, AI algorithms, machine learning, they are very deep, insanely they are deep. And human beings are just, they, they even don't calculate and make decisions. So that is the main difference. And uh, let's, let's go to this. Reinforcement learning application in trading and finance. It is applied in trading and finance. You know, uh, like there's uncertainty in trading and finance and um, it can be applied there and supervised time series modeling can be used for predicting future sales okay as well as predicting stock prices okay stock prices these models um, don't determine the action to take at a particular stock prices uh, and enter reinforcement learning and rl agent can decide uh, such tasks whether to hold buy or sell okay the RL model is evaluated using uh, market benchmark standards in order to ensure it's performing optimally. Okay, the this automation bridges consistently into the processes. Okay, and unlike previous methods where analysts would have would have to make single decision, IBM, for example, has the sophisticated reinforcement learning based platform that has the ability to make financial trade. Like you can go to, you can search for IBM, which, which application they are using for reinforcement for financial trade, and you can learn from it. But uh, whenever you are creating any technology or you want to create any technology, create your original technology using the concepts, but create your own technology. And in, in countries like, a lot of countries they are copying you can it is okay like you can 
take the concepts, you can understand, you can learn, but make your technology original. So that, or think that out of box, how you can optimize it, how you can make better, okay? You can copy initially, but then make it a innovative, a genuine and original technology, okay? While you're making such technologies. It uh, computes the reward function based on loss of profit, every financial, like here, loss and profit. Same, in, when you're applying reinforcement learning in stock markets, the loss and profit will be reward, like positive and negative. So like uh, it, it will vary in a coffee shop, it will be different, like a coffee, good coffee. And, but concept is the same, profit and loss. They're good coffee, bad coffee, good service, bad service, uh, good or bad, whatever. So rewards. So simply when you're designing reinforcement learning applications, so these things need to be considered. And reinforcement in learn in um, like uh, applied in NLP, natural language processing. So in NLP, RL can be used in uh, text summarization, question answering. Okay, machine translation. Just uh, to mention few. Okay, then. The author of this uh, paper is this. Uh, this is not my research. I've just, I've taken this and I'm giving credit to, uh, and uh, this is the, like, this is the model, which is for NLP, how you can use NLP model. Um, and this is the research done by, uh, there are a couple of scientists who have done these research and, um, so their, uh, their method works for the first selecting a few sentences for the document that are relevant answering questions. So it is detailed summary that how uh, you can use NLP for natural language processing, uh, how you can use uh, reinforcement learning for text messaging, and uh, then, um, then you can use it uh, like, um, a, a combination of supervised and reinforcement learning. You can combine uh, uh, supervised learning, also reinforcement learning for what? To use abbreviative text summarization in prep paper in this paper. Like Grammarly is an example. Grammarly uses such technologies where you, it makes your uh, grammar correct, sentences correct, and uh, it gives you output. And uh, it's, a, it's a good company also. Like they, they're focused on this thing only, very deep, and that's uh, that it's working well for them, okay? Uh, you, can, you can see that uh, how they are using it, okay? And uh, reinforcement learning application in healthcare. You can also apply in healthcare. Uh, like healthcare, how you can apply it. Patients can receive treatment from uh, policies learned from RL system. Okay, earlier, like you you went to a hospital, you don't know where are your document, no record, no data. There's no uh, consistent data. No. So here, when we use uh, reinforcement learning in application of in healthcare, what will happen that we'll have a database, we'll know and we'll predict future diseases also. We'll be proactive when we uh, when we use reinforcement learning and we'll know that what kind of food one should eat. Is it organic? Is it uh, nutrition? Uh, so all these aspects and which right now people don't know, okay? There are hidden things which, which we, do, we don't know, okay? And we can use uh, reinforcement learning in healthcare. In RL is able to uh, find optimal policies using previous uh, experiences without uh, the need of previous information on mathematical model of biological systems, okay? It makes this approach more applicable than other control based systems in healthcare. RL in healthcare is categorized uh, as dynamic treatment uh, and uh, like for chronic, critical or automated medical diagnosis and journal. There's, there's also a, like they have created a, a new instrument to detect the pulses uh, 
uh, with the machine learning, they have created an artificial intelligence uh, kind of uh, uh, machine, which can detect uh, deeply, will give more uh, perfect information about your body. And uh, so this is, this is the structure. You can take a screenshot of it. RL, uh, it is dynamic treatment regime, chronic diseases, cancer, diabetes. They have classified all these things critical data structure, these are all, uh, they have classified all this health management, drug discovery, all these are the classifications of all these, so you can use reinforcement learning in healthcare, okay. So these are the like, then in uh, DTRS, uh, the input is a set of clinical observation and assessment of patients. Like you have an, um, a clinical observation and then uh, the output are the treatment options for every stage. These are similar to the state in RL. Application of RL in DTRS is adventurous because it is capable of determining time-dependent decision for the best treatment for the patient at a specific time. Okay, you know, life is changing every second there's a time series every time time is changing and you know when we find solutions for the problems whatever solutions you find pro for the problem it's always changing you cannot have a constant solution for a changing problem okay you cannot have a constant solution for a changing problem so that is why we need to be lifelong learners we need to have never ending attitude towards learning and it's continuous learning and that's what ai agents and reinforcement learning and artificial intelligence is better at and we think only that i want to do mb i want to do phd i want to do this just and then we stop and that is the biggest mistake which we human beings do it's continuous learning it's always learning, lifelong learning. So when we are lifelong learners, we always find solutions for the problems which are changing, 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 changing. Right now, every second, there's a change. Can we have a constant solution for the changing problems? No. We need to be constantly learning new. New, as Einstein said, you cannot have a same solution for the problem which uh, like you cannot have a same solution for the problem which was like older which was earlier you can you cannot have the same solution you, you have to reinvent a solution but there are universal principles which we have to follow okay we need to understand them concepts okay the application of uh, like uh, i've already uh, said that See, I was explaining, I went very deep into the, like when there are changes in our body also, changes happening, this disease, that disease, this disease got cured, now next disease. So how can we design an algorithm for that? That's a real challenge. So for that, what we need to do is, we need to create such um, reinforcement learning applications, which learn from all these uh, patterns, and uh, then we have continuous solution. And with reinforcement learning, there's a solution. That once reinforcement learning agent has learned the completely the system, what will happen that then it will, uh, like it will always find new solutions for the problem which are changing continuously. Because every time there's a change in, in plants, in animals, in flowers, in atoms, atoms are revolving, you know, as uh, planets are revolving, uh, human being is, grow they are growing, uh, plants are growing, everybody is changing, streams are like river is flowing, everything is changing. So how can we find solutions for changing problems? We can use AI technology, we can use reinforcement learning agents and use this for humanity. Like from ages, we are not able to tackle these problems. Now we can. But if it's like fuel, are you, if, how we are going to use it for humanity, that's the main objective. Like we should serve humanity with these technologies rather than 
it goes against humanity okay rl has also been used for discovering uh, and generation of optimal dtr s for chronic diseases like you know you can use proactively uh, these technologies reinforcement learning for like after 10 years if there is going to happen a crime machine learning algorithm will determine that and control proactively and after 10 years if i am going to have diseases how need to work on that we need we are leaders we need to create such technologies you guys after 10 years you will tell me that okay this is the technology which is invented by american german or uh, chinese but why can't we do it now we invest our time government has lot of resources start up india all these uh, projects why can't you guys go and start think out of box think go and challenge the status quo and think such technologies if we have and that is the future and that is the future of entrepreneurship okay uh let's let's go uh, till what time we have this session because i usually go very deep so it's 8 o'clock 8 o'clock i think we have reached there okay so there are other other aspects also uh today was uh, i think uh, it 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 was introduction and and let me let me take more 5 minutes and then we'll uh, so reinforcement learning can be applied in engineering it's very deep subject it's very deep okay reinforcement learning can be applied in news recommendations like netflix is doing that and uh, all the newspapers they have started doing facebook is doing that reinforcement learning in gaming reinforcement learning in uh real time uh reinforcement learning in application marketing and advertisement facebook already does it youtube also does it if you target a specific uh, market a specific audience so they do the retargeting it is already done and if you have certain interests so they 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 will see what interests you have and then you put interest where you making an ad so they are already using it and reinforcement learning is used in uh, robotics manipulation and there there's lot of research okay uh, so there are other aspects so uh, if like i think let's let's do q and a uh, and uh, it's very deep and i, I will i i can speak uh, years and months on this this single uh, subject because i can see everywhere i feel everywhere in enforcement learning and i know i want to help humanity and make people understand that what they can do with all this this knowledge and infinite knowledge yeah yeah